whether you are a fan of Marvel Studios Phase 4 or not, obviously largely depends on your very own opinion. But I think one thing that's not an opinion and is a undeniable fact is the fact that Marvel Studios Phase 4 has seen more downs than ups compared to most previous phases. And now we're hearing that due to the reception of Phase 4, Marvel Studios is considering major changes to Phase 5, 6, and beyond. So before we get into this, I want you to take your nostalgia tinted glasses off for a second and look back at the reality of Phase 1. Iron Man 1 was very much liked, but nobody was looking forward to that movie, and at the top of most charts in the years leading up to it, it was deemed as the most likely to fail and be the end of Marvel as an entire company, which is why they were almost on the verge of bankruptcy, and before that film's release, were actively looking to sell Captain America to WB and Thor permanently to Universal. The Incredible Hulk was not well received and bombed in theaters. Captain America the First Avenger was a mediocre reception at best and bombed in theaters. The first Thor film was not that well received, mixed reception and also bombed in theaters. Iron Man 2 was a massive step down from Iron Man 1 and also fans cried loud that this was a terrible film. Then we finally got to the Avengers, which changed the course of the entire film industry. But there is revisionist history that Phase 1, 2, and 3 were non-stop, top quality, beloved by everyone. Which has only actively started to happen now because revisionist history can make you hate the current phase by, again, revising history, pretending that all those things I just mentioned were never what in fact they were, which was a mixed reception and mostly critical bombs. People now act like Guardians of the Galaxy is a beloved franchise that is forever going to be one of the greatest sci-fi achievements of not just Disney, but most sci-fi franchises. Every single person was saying this was the death of the MCU and nobody cares about these characters. Again, revisionist history is constantly implemented and new history is written. This is how it always happens. So recent reports that stem from what I believe the original source being Cosmic Circus is that as a preventive measure and quality control due to the reception of Marvel's Phase 4 and how they approached it, that they are reevaluating future releases of Phase 5 and beyond and specifically productions that aren't already in development. So this would obviously mean the projects that aren't announced that are coming in Phase 5, Phase 6, and uh, whatever else they got planned after that. Obviously, is there any proof to this? No, we don't know. It's just the word of the source. But realistically, let's look at it and realize that something had to give with the amount of Marvel content we got in Phase 4. How much did, in fact, give? A few projects. We can name them, but you guys know what they are. Despite some people saying, oh, Miss Marvel is the worst thing they've ever produced because you don't personally like it, that still had high production in it, and the reviews clearly reflect that. Before you mention the audience reviews, please don't bring that up because that's absolute garbage and that doesn't matter here because, again, we've seen how that gets skewed without people even watching the product, so it doesn't matter. We're talking about the general consensus of the critics and the reception. But obviously things in phase four did not go as according to plan because there's been a substantial amount of delays shuffles an entire pandemic that affected things so i think it's pretty evident that phase four was a very ambitious stage but again we're looking at it through modern eyes and i want to take these modern eyes and just apply them the same way we looked at phase one and even phase two do you guys remember when phase two was happening all the criticisms tossed at it, saying, well, due to the shortcomings of Phase 1, Phase 2 is going to have a drastic change. It's going to be completely different. They have to pivot. They said this about Phase 3 because of Phase 2 as well. And again, I want to take you back to Phase 2. Do you remember Age of Ultron? That's a massive step down to most people from the first film. I think it's a superior film than the first Avengers. But again, that's my opinion. A lot of people don't share that opinion, but again... Avengers 2 was heavily criticized and hated 
most people today screaming about how woke and bad Marvel is were out there screaming about how Age of Ultron is the end of the MCU because it made $50 million less than the original Avengers. Ant-Man, automatically, that was deemed a failure. Doctor Strange, remember all the comparisons to how it's just Tony Stark and it's a bad character and nobody wants this film and it's pointless? Guardians of the Galaxy. And again, we heard going into Phase 3, they're shifting direction because the fans don't like what they're doing with Phase 2. Did any of that actually happen? No. So when people didn't like multiple projects in Phase 3, did that actually affect Phase 4? When people were out there screaming about how bad Captain Marvel is and they're not going to watch a sequel. How bad Black Panther is because it's just pandering. Did it affect anything in regards to how we don't want the black Captain America? It has to be the white guy because that's how it is in the comics, despite them never reading the comics. Did that actually actively affect any single thing that they approached? No, it didn't. Will Phase 4 affect anything that they're planning? I think a small amount. And I think that small amount will be the amount of projects we get. And you know how I know that? Because recently in financial reports, they just said they're going to be producing 20% less content year over year going forward. Meaning that we are getting less across all of Disney, and that's out of necessity.